So using the transformations we've already learned about, you should be able to transform just about any way you want to. But sometimes you need to do a little bit of creative thinking to make a certain transformation happen. We're going to do some general transformations. So we're going to rotate the plane 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the point 0.32. And we know how to rotate the plane, uh, a matrix, cos, sine, negative sine, cos. But that's rotating it about the origin. What about if we want to rotate around this weird point 0.32? Okay, let's just do a little drawing of that. So here's our uh, Cartesian plane, here's our point 0.32, and we're going to rotate the plane around point 0.32. So if a point was, say, here, we would rotate that point 90 degrees anti-clockwise, and we need to come up with uh, some matrix transformations to make that happen. All right, so how are we going to do it? We don't know how to rotate around the point 0.32. We don't have a neat way of rotating around the point 0.32. So what we're going to do is a three-step process. We're going to take the entire plane and move it back to the origin. And then we're going to rotate. And then we're going to move back to our starting position. So there's our series of steps. Now we're going to write it down as a, a full equation. So the image is going to be equal to. All right. Now... I'm going to leave my rotation matrix sitting here for a little while. That's I'm going to save some space for it. Uh, and then I'm going to multiply it by um, x and y. Okay, but I'm going to need to move the plane to there. And to move the plane to there, to the origin, uh, to, to move the sort of the rotation point to the origin, I'm going to have to subtract 3 from x. And I'm going to have to subtract 2 from y. Okay, now, that little bit of trickery here, that's step one. That's moving our matrix to the origin. Okay, and now what do we do? Well, now we multiply it by a rotation matrix. And you guys should know the rotation matrix by now. And what I've just done here is step two, rotating the point. Okay, but I'm not finished yet. Uh, what do I now need to do now that I've done step one, move it to the origin, step two, rotate it. Now I need to move it all back. So I'm going to have to take that now and add pink, add, and move back again. Three. So from here, we can start jumping through some hoops. Uh, jump to yellow here. So we have cos 90 uh, is 0, 1, uh, negative 1, and 0. And we're going to multiply it by this matrix here, x minus 3, y minus 2. And then when we finish with that, we're going to add the matrix 3, 2 to it. Okay, so I'm going to multiply these matrices together. You don't... Oh, well, let's do it together. Um, it's going to be 0 times x minus 3, negative 1 times y minus 2. So that's going to be negative y plus 2. And it's going to be uh, 1 times x minus 3, 0 times that. So it's going to be uh, x minus 3 there. And then I'm adding vector, or sorry, I'm adding matrix 3, 2 on the end. Um, and then negative y plus 2 plus 3, I get negative y plus uh, 5, and x minus 3 plus 2, I get x minus 1. All right, and that should be our transformation um, to rotate a point around point 3 to 90 degrees anti-clockwise. We can check that out. Now, just to convince ourselves, we're going to verify it using point 0.52. So I've chosen point 0.52. Because 0.52 is about here. And I can see that if I rotate 0.52 90 degrees around 0.32, it will become point... Um, well, there's a distance of 2 there, so it's going to be 2 up from that, which will be 4. And it's going to be in line with that, which will be 3. So I'm hoping that when I trans use this 
transformation, I will get uh, 0.34, that rotation like, like that. All right, so let's see if that does work. So image, image is equal to, and now we're gonna use this, uh, negative y plus five, uh, x minus one, and then sub in the point that I'm dealing with. Uh, so uh, subbing in negative two plus five, subbing in five minus one, and I'll get an image of negative two plus five is three, five minus one is four, three, four, three, four. That means that I've probably done my work incorrectly. It seems unlikely that I've just fluked that. Okay, so um, this is rotating a point about, uh, or rotating the plane about a point. We move to the origin, we rotate, and then we move back again. Pretty cool.